We're here on the Berlin Brandenburg Pavilion, and I'm delighted to be talking with Martin Schell of Fraunhofer HHI. So, Martin, it's uh, it's, a, it's a regular occurrence that the Berlin Brandenburg Pavilion is here at ECOC. Uh, you guys come quite regularly. Yes, I think we are in the 15th year now uh, where we participate, and uh, well, uh, this is uh, organized by a Berlin a Partner, which uh, helps the 400 optics companies and 20 institutions active in optics in Berlin to organize themselves. So we are lucky to go to each ECOC and since uh, about 15 years, and here in Sweden it's uh, also very nice, I think. And you mentioned the, the community within Berlin Brandenburg. It's uh, it's great, isn't it? You know, a lot of companies working together and also uh, you know advancing the technology. Yes, we are certainly above threshold for doing something sensible. And if you have a look uh, at the density of optical enterprises and institutions, um, it's second, I think, only to Silicon Valley and maybe to the Tokyo area. And for HHI, you have uh, a number of exciting and innovative products on show here. Yes, right. This year we're introducing these uh, small demonstrators for uh, Li-Fi, which is uh, communications with 100 megabit uh, upstream, 300 megabit uh, downstream uh, between any LED-based illumination system and uh, your personal device. This has some advantages over Wi-Fi, like better confidentiality and uh, uh, lower disturbance, um, better EMI, and much higher data rates. And the other thing we are introducing here is our EMLs. Um, they uh, externally modulated lasers. It's a 300 micron by 400 micron big chip, uh, which can transmit data at 100 gigabit per second. There has been long, many discussions um, over the zettabyte era, which was announced by Cisco last year, um, because 2016 was the first year uh, where one zettabyte was transmitted in, in the internet. If you take one of our wafers, three-inch wafers in indium phosphide technology, there's about 30,000 devices uh, on it, and if they are all operated, this one wafer can transmit about three times uh, one zettabyte per year. So indium phosphide, especially due to the small chip size, has a potential to transmit huge data volumes. There's a lot of exciting innovation going on at the moment, and obviously everyone's here at ECOC to hear about it. Once again, please. Hey. Sorry. This was too fast for me. Okay. <laughs> and there are a lot of exciting innovations going on all around here at ECOC. I have not yet seen, uh, I have not yet had enough time to walk around, but uh, I saw a micro announcement of 100 giga samples, uh, ducks. I, and there's, there's lots of discussion in silicon photonics and different technologies. So uh, I'm looking forward to see much more of that. But right now, um, nothing has yet reached my mind. Martin, thank you very much for your time here on ECOG TV. Thank you, you're most welcome.